Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 150, Choices. For years, one of my most popular blog posts has been a workaround for getting Choices columns, also known as multi-selects, to work on a portal. I'm happy to say that this post is now irrelevant, since support for Choices columns is now available out of the box. While Choices columns have been available in Dataverse since 2018, before it was even known as Dataverse, the portal has not up until now supported it. The support is in preview, but we're hoping that it will be generally available very, very soon. While it is in preview, you do have to opt in to using the feature. You can do this by creating a site setting called control forward slash enable choices and setting the value to true. Choices support is included on lists, basic forms, and advanced forms. It couldn't be easier to get lists and forms working. Just add the column like you would for any other type, and it will just work, assuming you've created the site setting while it is in preview. Choices are also supported in Liquid and the Web API. In my next tip, I'll go a bit deeper into how to use Choices columns as a developer. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 150 on choices useful.